Hey there. Today we're going to be discussing how to manage our classes, so set up our classes in Think Central, and then how to actually create and view those class rosters, so how to put students in those classes and view those class rosters. Once I've logged into my Teacher Think Central account, I'm going to go ahead and click on Classes and Rosters, either here, Classes and Students, I'm sorry, or Classes and Students up here. And it takes me to this screen. Now you can see I've already created three classes, but this Add a Class button should be available to you, so click on that. Simply give your class a name. I'm going to say 2012-2013 Math Class. Tell it what grade level. And when you tell it which grade level that class is, it now tells you what resources are available for that class. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on all those resources. Normally you just want all those resources it's offering for you. Click on all of them and be sure you click on Save. So now you've created a class and you've put those resources into that class. The next thing we need to do is click on Assign Students. We need to put some students in our classroom. If your administrator of your account has put all of your students into the system, and they probably have via a spreadsheet they've imported them and put them in, all of those students will be showing up here. All the students within your class or your building will be showing up here. You can actually filter and say, show me just certain students that are just in certain grades and click on find and it will do that for you. But anyway, once you've filtered and you know what students you want to have in your class, you can simply select all of them and say add all. Or if you don't want all of them that are listed there, you can hold down your control key and select non-congruent names and click add. And notice they go over into this class roster section. And at this point, all you have to do is click on Done. And you now have a class with resources and students in it. So let's take a look. Think Central takes us back to this screen. Let's look at this class we just created. If I click on the actual class name, it'll take me back to this window that should look real familiar to you. And you can actually change some of the items that you made available to your students if you want to do that. But I also wanted to show you, if I go back to Manage Class, I can also click on this radio button here and view my class roster. Here's my class roster. Notice I can click on Export Class Roster and it'll give me a great little spreadsheet so I could print that out and it will include all of the student data, their login, uh, username and password and really that's a great thing to have. You might want to cut those into strips and hand those out to your students so that they just have a little piece of paper that reminds them of what their username and password is. In addition to that I can click on their last name over here where it's blue and hyperlinked and it will take me into the information about that student. So even if I did not create that student account I can go in and look at that student account and I actually can edit most everything in the student account. I cannot edit a student username, but I can change their password if I want to. And whatever changes I might make, I would click on Save. I'll click Cancel here because I didn't want to make any changes to that student account. Another thing I wanted to show you is you can create groups within Think Central. So if I want to have groups within my classes, I simply clicked on Group, Add, and I cho told it which class, and I give it a, gr a unique name. Maybe it's the red group. I do the drop down here and tell it which class, and then this should look real familiar to you. It's like I did when I was creating my classes, but I'm actually creating a group at this time. So maybe only this student goes over in that group, and all I have to do is click on Save. Groups aren't by any means a necessary thing, but it's something you may want to consider using uh, when you start making assignments, you may want to make assignments to just certain groups. So something to think about. Alright, that concludes our session on creating class rosters and uh, managing those classes. So enjoy!